Every day feels exactly the same. I'm having the worst nightmares till morning. Another sleepless day begins. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? There is no place to sit here. Excuse me. I think you wanted to sit alone because when you saw me, I had the feeling that you were a bit hesitant. Please stay. I'll leave. Uh, you don't bother me. Uh, on the contrary, I'm glad that I'm not alone once in a while. I haven't said a word to anyone for, for ten days. This situation is so hard. It, it, it's so depressing to hold it all inside of me. I would like to ask you something. Actually, to tell you something. I know how absurd it is to tell this to the first person I've just met, but I... I'm in such a state that I definitely need to talk to someone, or... or I will be ruined. You should not torture yourself with such suspicions. You can tell me everything. I'm a doctor. This is the climax of my story. In this profession, we often encounter different cases. Very serious cases. Imagine a doctor. A doctor in a town. Or a doctor in a countryside. Ah... Uh. It is not going to work this way. I must tell you everything from the very beginning. Explicitly. Otherwise, you will not understand. Madam, a lady. A lady has arrived. A lady? In this town?
Good day, doctor. Forgive me for popping in unannounced, but we were driving by the station and we thought we should drop by. Let's continue this conversation in my room. I've heard a lot of things about you. The way you treated the deputy governor was unbelievable. His leg is almost as perfect as it used to be. He can keep on playing golf where he left off. If you agree to come with us, we are more than ready to send our grumpy surgeon and the other doctors away. All aside, why don't we see you around? You live like a hermit. I like it here. There are such nice books. I want to read them all. May I treat you a cup of tea? No, thanks. We don't have much time. It was just a short trip. Ah, I see you study French as well. You have many talents. It is indeed an amazing thing to know this many languages. The deputy governor adores you, you know. He says he'd only go under your knife. Surgeons where I come from do nothing but play bridge. And you know, I thought I should get examined by you as I happen to be passing by. I'd be honored to be of service to you whenever you'd like. Oh, it's nothing serious, just womanly issues. Vertigo, passing out, that sort of thing. Just as the car was taking a turn, I suddenly collapsed. I thought I'd die. It was only after my servant brought me some water that I regained consciousness. Maybe the driver had been driving too fast. Right, doctor? I can't just diagnose it as such. How often do you experience passing out? No. In fact, yes. I've had those especially recently. Passing out and nausea. There isn't anything to worry about, is there, doctor? I guess it's a seasonal, temporary condition. First, I need to examine you. Um, can I check your body temperature? I don't have fever. I'm sure that I don't. I've been checking my body temperature regularly since I started passing out. My stomach is healthy, too. I'm, I'm sorry, but um, can I ask you a few straightforward questions? Of course. You're the doctor, anyway. Do you have children? Yes, I have a son. Well, did you have similar experiences in those days? I did. Forgive me for asking this question, but could it be that you're experiencing a similar condition? Could be. But what's making me nervous is not that, doctor. I was in a better state when I was pregnant with my son. I'm not as well anymore. I suffer from cardiac disease. Ah, these cardiac diseases. I, I want to check it right away. I do have issues regarding my heart, doctor. And I'd like you to believe me. I don't want to waste any more time being examined. I think that you can trust me. At least, I've already shown you my trust in you. If you want me to trust you, you have to be clear. I'm the doctor here. Stop eating around the bush. Do you understand what I'm asking of you, doctor? I guess I know. You want to get rid of what's been ailing you. You want me to save you from these passing out sessions and nausea by destroying its source. Is that right? That's right. Do you also know that experiments like these can be dangerous for, for both sides? I do. You also know that it's forbidden for me to do such a thing? I do know that it's not forbidden and even recommended under certain circumstances. Hmm, but that requires a medical symptom. Then you'll identify that symptom. You're the doctor. Can I ask you why you specifically chose to come to me? Because of the fact that you live far away. That you don't know me. That you're a good doctor. Because you probably won't be staying here for very long. Especially if you're going to be heading back home with a hefty amount of money. And you give that hefty amount of money to me. Is that right? Do you know that I lose my pension because of this? I'll make up for your loss. I want you to be clearer. What's the amount you do have in mind? I'll write you a check of 12,000 pounds that can be cashed out in Europe. 12,000 pounds? There's no way I can do that for that amount. How much do you want? <sighs> Let's be honest with each other. 
No amount of money will get you what you want. So you're saying you don't want to do this? No, uh, I don't. Not for money at least. What else could you possibly want? I'm not just a doctor. I don't just spend my hours examining patients. I have my own private life apart from all that. And maybe... You've happened to come just in time for that. No, I will never do that. I'd rather die. Don't you ever try and come after me. Or follow me. Or else you'll be sorry for it. She talked about the train station. I guess I should go there. myself poorly. As a doctor, I should have helped. I must catch up and apologize. What's up? Hey, howdy. Don't wander around here. What's up? Train's about to leave. I liked her, but she managed to flee the town just like all other times. But running away won't save her. Nothing remains a secret here. It's a small town. Now I know that you're the wife of a big businessman, a wealthy English of a noble origin.
Riverside 81 Super Express has departed from Platform 2. The next service is 2 hours. Where do you think you're going, asshole? Show yourself, coward. Where's your god now, weakling? Go away, you damn piece of shit. Ah. Evening news resumes. Recent news about the death of a citizen upset the town. This unfortunate event took place in the evening. A person thought to have symptoms of the Amak disease stabbed a young woman to death. The victim's identity is not yet known. Later, the attacker himself committed suicide using the same knife. We'll be back after a short break. Careful!
containers have blocked the road. I, I guess I need to move them out of the way to pass. Letters appear to have been hidden between the numbers.
Damn. I'm in the wrong place. This place was abandoned a long time ago. Come on. A Dag. Come here. Where the rock Remember now, the Nicholson family should be living in the mansion at the end of the town. Doctor, I haven't seen you around for a long time.
here. You poor run. I am going to kill you. Don't lose him. Weakling. Found you. Die. to get them all in line. Is it blood? Oh, I hope it's not too late for everything.
I guess it'll open once I enter the password on the radio. This rope might be useful. So that's why she wanted to abort the child. This boy must be your servant. You, you, you need to come with me. Hurry. We're in a tight spot and I can't tell this to anybody. Can you tell me what's happening here? Please, don't ask questions and just get in the car or, or else it might be too late. Where is she? Believe me, she's in trouble right now. Please explain it from the beginning. She made a very wrong decision after leaving your side. We went to the damp and dirty clinic in that spooky neighborhood. She's about to die. Only you can save her. The townsfolk noticed you. They told me you went after the lady. I've been looking for you everywhere. It occurred to me that you might be in the mansion. Turn right. Continue straight ahead. Continue straight ahead. Continue straight ahead. Turn right. Uh. 
turn right. Here it is, to the entrance of the neighborhood. Hurry! We're almost there. Follow me. I have very fresh fish for sale. Would you like some? Oysters have arrived just now. Hello, handsome. Over there. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. You cannot escape. You cannot. Open the door. Where's your guard now? Open the door. We need to go to the to the hospital uh, immediately. No. No. I'd rather die. Nobody should know. Nobody should know. Oh, the house. The house. Nobody will know, right? Nobody. Nobody will know. I... I promise. Promise me that... Nobody will know. Promise me. Ah, this medicine cabinet is locked. I need to hurry. She's dying. 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 I need to hurry. She's dying.
I know that I've kept you waiting, Doctor. I'm not going to ask for your forgiveness for it. She... When did she die? At five in the morning. When did she send for you? At four. Did you know that I was her doctor? Yes, but, but it was urgent and... And the deceased asked for me in particular. Even if you think you could do it without me, it's my official duty to diagnose how and why she died. The problem is not diagnosing the cause of death, but finding another cause for it. This woman sent for me in particular to treat the unwanted outcome of an operation gone wrong. I couldn't save her, but I promise her to save her honor and I'll do just that. I'd like you to help me in the process. You want me, a government doctor, to cover up a crime that had been committed? I do. I have to. I... for the crime you've committed? I told you that I didn't even lay a finger on her. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't be standing before you. I would have already ended my life. She paid for her own mistake, if that's what you would call it. But nobody needs to know about this. I won't let this woman's honor be stained by anybody unnecessarily. You won't let? Of course, you're my superior, or at least that's what you think you are. Try ordering me around. When I first learned that you were summoned here, I knew that something was amiss. Now, I'll take a look at it. I wouldn't put my signature under a lie. Yes, but you should do it on this case. For you cannot leave this room if you don't. Let's say that I'm in. The only thing that concerns me is that I make good on my promise. The fact that the real cause of her death remains hidden. If you can just sign a document stating that this woman died a natural death, I leave this town this week. As long as I'm sure that nobody will investigate this, of course. I think what I've told you so far is already enough. Or it should be enough. I'll have signed a false document for the first time. But we can find a way. Of course you shouldn't do that under normal circumstances. I want you gone. Not in a matter of days, but as soon as possible. Your ferry ticket is at your home. I want you to promise me. I give you my word. I'll find a coffin right away. I'm sorry it's all come to this. Ah, aren't you Dr. Till Meyer? You're sorry? I don't understand what you mean. Uh, am I crazy? Am, am I sick? Everything behind. The house I've been working on for seven years. Everything I, I have. I, I cannot stay here any longer. In this house, in this town, in this world, where everything reminds me of her.
Call them. Be careful. Don't let him escape. Kill him if necessary. Following him. We almost caught him. Let him escape. Kill him if necessary. Keep following him. Attack! Watch out! There's someone behind you! Ah, uh, you will pay for that. Kill those scumbags! Good night, bastard. Come on. Do you recognize me, Doctor? Oh. Show yourself! Uh. Where do you think you're going at? <laughs> Found you. There you are. Come here. You better run. Where's your god now, weakling? Where do you think you're going, asshole? Ah, you will pay for that. You. There you are. Ah, you will pay for that. Die.
Nobody will know, right? Nobody. Promise me that nobody will know. Promise me. Have you just learned how to run? She followed you here just as you followed her. Um, I don't understand what you mean. The first day I came on board the ship, some people were loading something with a crane, something rectangular, a coffin. Her coffin. Do you hear me? Uh, apologies. F forgive me. I, I, I have to go. I, I have to go now. He took her from us. Now she belongs to that man again. She doesn't belong to us anymore. To us. To, to both of us. woman's husband was also there. He was going to England with a coffin. Maybe he wanted to have an autopsy done there. You can't pass over. There's a gas leak. Waiting for the technicians to arrive. still here. Her husband will never know this secret. He, he shouldn't. <laughs> 
he will know nothing. Nothing. The woman's secret belongs to me. Only me.